What's good, it's your boy money We back in the stage. Alright, no. Going on, man. Another day. No. That shit fucked y'all up, didn't it? Y'all was like, damn, you should have been finished. It's a whole new day, nigga. It's a new reaction, nigga. Y'all understand? I'm about to change that shit, cause, cause niggas be thinking I'm playing games when I come in there and I do that little intro like I'm a buster. Nigga, I ain't no fucking buster, nigga. I'm a real ass, uh, nigga. But that's not the here nor there, y'all. Yo, our boy, um, Drug Bull, aka the Tooth, aka. Uh, Beaver, aka Brick Baby, uh, he has arrived, y'all. He's checking the shit out of Joe Budden because uh, I I'll take y'all back. Long story short, uh, I think Adam started the big three discussion and that he only put in Ak, Adam, and who was the last one? Vlad, right? Act Adam Vlad, it, it, it might have been some other way, but he ain't put Joe Budden in there. Joe Budden was feeling some type of way. He was trying to say, nigga, Adam ain't shit. He don't got no views. Adam took it to a whole new June. He started talking shit about him and all this. Joe Budden said, nigga, nigga, who the fuck? You think because you sitting around with fucking Buster Baby all day that you think you just got some sort of fighting ability, nigga? I will fuck you up, nigga. And now, Brick Baby is stepping for his husband, and he's saying, nigga, don't you ever talk about Adam like that again, or I'm going to fire on you, nigga. Play, play again. Brick Baby will never hurt nobody, nigga. But don't, but let somebody fuck with Adam. He'll go to jail for life the next day. That's a, I know, that sounds a little LGBT to me, too. I know, I know, but... That this is how they choose to do it. Smash that like button. Let's get it. So long story yeah. short, Joe Bud say that he beat the <clears throat> shit out of Adam. Man. Huh? <laughs> cool. Nigga, he say he beat the shit Who out of Adam. Who y'all got? Man? So listen, I got two hundred that Adam whooped Joe Bud. All right, all right, all right. I should have said this at the beginning of the video. It's all good. Who do I? Who do y'all got in the squabble? Adam twenty two. Or Joe Budden. Now, Joe Budden used to be a crackhead, bro. His body could withstand some shit. But Adam and his white people, they, y'all, y'all know, y'all not, you know, we smoke weed, nigga, y'all niggas will f say, fuck it, nigga. Give me the whole perk, nigga. Give me the whole cocaine fucking flower, nigga. Give me the whole June. Y'all know how y'all do. So, okay, that, that equals out. But I'm not going to lie, man. It, it looks like they're around the same height. They're around the same all that. It just comes down to grit, nigga. It just comes down to who is used to fighting, nigga. It comes down to who is in, who's in them. I ain't going to lie. I'm giving it to Joe Budden, man. Adam is a buster, and I'm not going to lie. No disrespect to my white niggas that's watching this, but... Joe Budden is black. They both probably don't really have that much fighting experience. Joe Budden is black. It's just a, uh, we have a certain amount of athleticism that y'all don't have. Same reason why that uh, 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 all the black quarterbacks be running like a motherfucker. Same reason why the whole NBA is full of black niggas. Our, our, I think our t I, I was reading something. Our tendons stretch more than y'all's bro our bone density is just more than y'all it just is what it is our athleticism is just there it is what it is you can't do nothing about it i'm saying joe Budden knocks adam the fuck out in the third round man because the thousand, way he was what? i got two hundred dollars that, that <laughs> <laughs> who betting you that shit huh <laughs> he know he about to lose his money i bet on the side oh, yeah, I, put, I put two oh, racks on that food oh, hey, i don't fucking lay his you ass got out to, i ain't putting that much money <laughs> Yeah, oh, Pete, they ain't putting that much money. I'm just showing. You don't believe in Adam? Really, Joe Budden to be on some bitch ass shit. Like, first of all, why is Adam not white listed? And he li listen to your your podcast Nigga, all the time. Like that shit is just weird to me. But anyway, we can't we racks, can't listen Joe to his Budden content. I really want to say out. just say Nigga, fuck it and hey, fuck him. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because he, oh, he listen. He hates on the younger generation of rap. This is what I don't yeah. fuck with Joe Budden for. You gotta do so. What my gang? Bad. Look, he ain't even saying nothing, pussy. He hates on the younger generation of rap. He acts like West Coast rap doesn't exist. And all of this, uh, you got the rap 
motherfucking <clears throat> history book and all that shit. But now, Brick Baby, I hear that you. It sounds like you just trying to advocate for Adam and you trying to put Joe Budden down at all costs. You don't like him because he puts. I'm sorry, I'm gonna say it first because he puts L.A. rappers down. And he doesn't show y'all light, nigga. L.A. rappers aren't that good, nigga. Y'all, y'all, uh, I'm going to say it over and over again. Yes, L.A. has talent, but as far as music, this is not your time, so you're not going to get a bunch of fucking time, nigga. Do you understand what I'm saying? And niggas be like, oh, you're just hating. But no, I know exactly what I'm talking about, nigga. I got this shit down to a science, my nigga. I already peeped why L.A.'s not doing their shit, because their shit is too outdated. Their beats are too outdated, nigga. Nobody wants to fucking listen to that shit. If you listen to Atlanta, niggas, listen to Destroy Lonely, listen to Playboy Cardi. I was listening to some of Lil Uzi songs. Bro, y'all are using two totally different beats. One is probably some old school shit in 2007 that we'd fuck with, LA. But this new shit, bro, it's, it's probably some shit you're not used to, bro. So number one, yeah, nobody's really doing the, nobody's listening to LA rapping niggas like that. I'm sorry to tell y'all. You, 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 I, I, I'm sorry to be the guy, but no one fucking listens to y'all niggas like that. They listen. Them niggas, pro, bro. New York drill is still popping. Y'all think like, come on, bro. Let's keep it a bean. Y'all are outdated. You need to update the shit. You want to be with the culture so bad. That's what the problem is. You wanna, you wanna hang on to old shit so fucking bad, niggas. Stop. The old shit is not working no more. Tupac is dead, nigga. Snoop don't make no fucking music no more, nigga. Make a new John. How about it would be a good idea to mix the shit that you got with the new shit and the new sounds that they're making at the top of the, uh, of the rap game and start mixing them together. Even Drake is using the fucking beats from Atlanta, my nigga. Are we serious? No one's going and like, oh, I'm about to use this beat from LA. It's not happening. It's never going to happen. As far as what y'all doing right now. So stop saying that shit. Don't say Joe Budden don't show no. No. Joe Budden's right. Do he hate on the young niggas? Yeah. But baby, that's because he don't got no hair no more, nigga. Sometimes you just got to feel for a nigga, man. That nigga is old as shit. When he was in his 20s, he was doing a crack every day, nigga. You got to kind of... That's like, you know them old heads that be like, man, you don't know nothing about this. And they start dancing to an old ass song. Yeah, you right. I don't know nothing about that. Crazy. The fuck? You just got to let him do that, bro. He, 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 he hating in an old head way. This is nothing new, basically. You were never a nigga in rap, nigga. Like, pump it up. Come on, my nigga. Name two Joe Budden songs. Pump, pump it up. You can name two, right? <laughs> pump, pump it up. any money. <laughs> I can't pump it up. Yeah, pump, it up yeah. pump it up. Pump it up. Yeah. Name two Joe Butter songs. I'm trying. Pump, I can't, bro. I'll take a walk with pump me. it up. Dev, pump take it up. Take a gay ass shit. What the fuck Never is that? It does not it. sound like a hit. Fool. Cool. That's young buddy. That's not a song, fool. 50 Cent and Young Buddy. Yeah, fool. That just sound gay. Yeah, he said that's 50 Cent and Young Buddy. Oh, <laughs> oh, look. Like, nah, we ain't Walk doing that, though. I mean, you doing all that, but Adam was in your city. That's just like China Mac, nigga. Adam was in you and China Mac City for four, five days. Y'all didn't pull up. Y'all didn't want no smoke. Y'all didn't send a messenger to say y'all can't be here or nigga, I'm China Mac, homie. Nigga, what's the deal? Or I'm just, man, don't get the popping when niggas leave about you. Nobody tap nobody on the show. You ain't do that to Charles. Yeah, you, White, nigga. You the type it was of all nigga. love over there. You the type of niggas that the New York goes let go to the strip club like nah that's just well, New York, you know, we, gonna let his you know ass, we gonna let his bitch ass go in there and get up out of here because you know me i'm yo young gordy i hate to blow your spot up like that but check my shorts y'all i hear you over here talking about i i, I dare you to start talking about gangbanging shit nigga because i got a video of you getting smacked nigga no 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 your homie got smacked nigga the, the yo young gordy if i have the right video and it looks like him too so i'm gonna go ahead and say it's him because it looks a lot like him young gordy homie jap five walked up to him he said yo you with naps 
Naps, he's talking about that's a diss. That's what that's what DW Flame said to uh Brook Baby. He said, Yo, you would nap, yo? He said, Mm-hmm. Jack, he said, Oh, all right. Bow! He smacked the actual shit out of him. He probably got knocked out for a second. He stumbled back and shit. And then he looked back at Gordy. Like, you good over there? He like, mm-hmm. So, Gordy, I just wanted to, don't ever talk, no, I see you over, don't ever talk tough, nigga. I just wanted to make sure we knew that, because I see you talking a lot, and I just wanted to know, I wanted us to know that before you get to talking too much. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Ain't no videos of me getting smacked on the internet, nigga, buster ass, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, you know, let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. I'm sorry, What's I had to get off on his shoulder. <laughs> he didn't do that to Charleston White. What's happening? By the way, what? Brick Baby was All in right. uh, oh, Texas. Oh, oh. He said he was going to get him. He didn't do it fast though. Like, on, like you know, this recently just happened. Just happened. Yeah, it just happened. We ain't gonna talk. We ain't gonna get into that. So you can rest they soldier too. Like you hey, know, you're looking for me. Yeah. So. Yeah, <laughs> how y'all feel as, 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 about Joe Button? And it, because we we started a debate at the top three podcasts, it, it, just the big three podcasts. Uh, what we came up with was no jumper, Vlad, and um, academics. Drake tapped in with Adam and said that you got to put. Well, he said that. Joe Button's not Adam like Joe Button's not in the top three and he's like, hey, you gotta replace him with Vlad. How do you feel about Joe Button? Y'all watch podcasts? I would say, I would say first of all, yeah, so, I so I don't watch this shit. You don't, don't watch Joe? I never watched this. You, Joe Button. I'll, I'll be lying here if I did. Not even the clips is not in your nah. I never watched this shit. Who do y'all got in this big three? Cause I'm listening to their to them talk and I'm really thinking about it. I'm like, okay. Academics, because honestly, I'm going to be honest with y'all. A lot of these niggas would not be dick riding, act like that, if he didn't just have that stream with Drake and them, and he had 200,000 live viewers. They wouldn't be dick riding him like that, but I probably still would have put him at one, okay? The number two... The only thing about No Jumper is they really only talk about, like, like basically, when niggas running over to some shit, No Jumper is posting the mess about hip-hop. They have all, historically, they have a bunch of big names on hip-hop. If you look, and a lot of the rappers that we look at, it's, it's, it's No Jumper on there. So I guess, I guess we could put No Jumper at th three or two. But I don't know if Vlad... Maybe three, but I don't know if Vlad really gets that because it's like, you know what? Cause, Cause he doesn't really do any like information about hip hop. I but you know what? I'd probably, I I guess that's correct. Cause who else would it be? It's not like like they were saying. It's not Drink Champs. Drink Champs fell off. It fell off. Nigga said, Carisha, please, man, get the fuck out of here, man. Nigga, I'm about to pee on that bitch. Say something else. Uh, Because I, I, I be tapped in with a lot of these niggas. I know what's going on. Uh, it's, it's, it, and then, like, basically, once you get, and then, um, Gilly and Wallow shit, but they fell off bad. They fell off bad. The study and guilt, the, the, the. The fall off in Gillo, Gillian Wallow needs to be studied, nigga. But it's probably because they shit boring. Like, bro, I ain't never watched their interviews. I'm going to keep it a B. They, they're probably top seven, top ten. But, like, definitely not top three. I, 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 they might be right. How, you watch the shit? Do you know of his oh, impact yes. on the podcast again? Y'all hear how all the other podcasts be big and cuz up, but I ain't never. No, so but the, the, it's, it's about, it's about. Nigga said though, the right? art of dialogue, no. man. I was, nigga, well, I now he's nigga. moving the goalposts. What he's doing man. is now he's making Them it niggas. about hip hop. At first, Henry, it was about, about the I'm size about of the platform, impact, and numbers. So mm -hmm. he was not in the top three. 
Okay. Now that he wasn't in the top three, now he's talking about hip hop wise, all his shit gets ripped as more than him and academics are the top, but nobody's debating. This ain't really the full hip hop platform. You know what I'm saying? You feel like you got a big three of podcasting or y'all? y'all I would, I would with? say. Joe Budden's not in it. First and foremost, yeah, let's not let's I, not forget. I, I, I would say this. Let Joe, say Joe this. Budden's good with the takes, All man. Right, I will say that. Because who has he brought on the podcast? Who has he interviewed on that podcast? I don't I don't recall him. I don't really watch it, so I don't know. Nobody. That's, a podcast. Right? that's not an interview station. I'm saying, but who who has he brought on there? They should have brought that's somebody. From the culture. I mean, Joe Joe brings some names through, but I don't think that's what he. I think he's there strictly to report on the culture and give his take. I don't think that he has the artist there too many too much. So not to that's say that's an issue. Mikey, does Joe have artists on his side to talk? Joe Budden on his podcast? So not to say that they're not relevant right now. Uh, Rick, we, we can check on that. That's an issue when we're the, uh, about That they're not relevant right now. But the first real podcast that I really used to see before this was a, before podcast was even a thing was The Breakfast Club. Every yeah. artist had, was, mm. was at The Breakfast they Club first. Well, I, they, that's a radio station, though. It was a radio yeah, station. Okay, so okay. That's also a, YouTube a channel. For an he had on, got you, got you. So, he had, okay, so he had on Power 105. What about the uh, drink champs? And Royce 59 on recently. That's about yeah, it. Yeah, Royce 59 on it. Drink champs. Drink champs. Drink champs. Yeah, drink champs, but they was in, they like five. I see more of those clips. They numbers that. though. That fuck shit one of my favorites. Yeah, it's old, yeah. bro. They don't, as far as hip hop goes. Do like, shit. Yeah, but numbers and size of platform shit, comes in where they be at like four or five. Because mm-hmm. we damn sure put Nori in the mix. He is one of the top hip hop. Oh, yup, 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 yup. He's top. But if you want to, um, I see that trying to discredit uh, Adam saying that he not uh, a hip hop podcaster, but if you go back, and really look, some of the top people uh, in the game, he bought you damn ex. near popped their career off right here yeah, in he, the seats that we sitting in. He bought you, you me? So, he puts on food. Just, he's like the big, I feel like when it comes to the, when it comes to the music, he like really got cracked This is a dick ride and Adam shit. contest, huh? With the emo artists. It's like yeah, XX yeah, Tentacion yeah, yeah. and Trippy Red, Juice yeah, World, exactly. but, though, but they fall under rap. Yeah, I think. Because they, they, they own Double XL, Rap yeah. covers that's all and all this other shit too. And that's what I said. In. When everybody discredited the forefront of music, which is the young niggas, the tidy loats run the streets where I'm from. That is everywhere. For sure, for the sure. fucking kids run what the fuck is going on. And some like niggas right hate now, we got, Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like we got right now, we got a couple young niggas making noise out the hood. KJ, U Dog, New Jack. You get what I'm saying? Them niggas is go is the forefront. They got to figure out how to manipulate. We he here to help. <laughs> oh. No, no, that's Brian, Brian Hurst, baby. Yeah. Brian Hurst, baby. No, 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 nigga, no, no, this no, how no, we no, talk. No, no, that, that, that go back to the nigga who started off the first question talking about one of the niggas six months ago. Yeah, this uh, this this, this is nigga brother, cuz nigga Bitch. might slip up. Nigga. <laughs> that nigga Weezy do it all the time with me. I'm in the clothes, all right, cuz I. But yeah, though, like we got we got the forefront, even like X Four and all of them, they the kids, but nigga, like you can't. You know, I also think what makes uh, No Jumper such a force is because they got the whole L A behind them. When L A likes something and they get together, they could do some damage, and that's what's always it's been historically like that. And I think that also comes with, like, the unity that, that L.A. got with all the uh, gangbanging and shit. Like, if, because niggas going to come together on their own because they already banging they June. But then once all the niggas that's banging they June that even the niggas don't fuck with each other and they come together and they fuck with something all coherently, it's, it's a problem. Therefore, you got no jumper. You, like, at... at I, and I'm not even trying to com- come like that, but like, nigga, after that, after a lot of them good interviews came in, nigga, you was just running off the niggas that's from LA and they really just die hard for this shit, for this shit. And they was just happy to have some shit next to them that's really popping like this and, and some shit that we listen to every day. Let's keep it a fucking B. Can we keep it a B? Can we keep it a B? Uh, I'm not going to lie. I got to put. Because Vlad don't really even. 
Yes, he gets numbers and yes, he talks to people that do hip hop and shit. But basically, he's not talking about hip hop news. He's not talking about the new diss tracks. He's just getting inside shit on. Uh, I guess you could, honestly, I'd probably put No Jumper at two. I'd probably put No Jumper at two and then put Vlad at three just for the simple fact that Vlad literally. Bro, no jumper posts every day, y'all. Every day, multiple times a day. That's a problem. I can't keep up. I'm going to be honest. Like, I be trying to keep up with these niggas. I can't keep up, bro. These niggas got machines and all. Man, listen, man. I, I probably put them at two. Even though Adam a buster. <laughs> they like kids. But, like, it is what it is, man. Smash that like button. Let it game. Catch y'all next one, man. Peace.